Hi, I'm Brian. Welcome back to another On The Road video brought to you by appliancevideo.com. All right, today we're working on a Kenmore French door refrigerator and the complaint is we're not getting any water out of the dispenser or any ice being produced in the ice maker. So we're just gonna test out the dispenser here and see what we're getting. We're gonna put it over to water. And we're getting some water that kinda is dripping through, but it's definitely not strong like it should be. And if I listen, it sounds like behind the refrigerator we might be getting some water leaking. Uh, sounds like we're getting water back there. So uh, what we'll do is we'll pull the refrigerator out and take a look at the back. All right, so you can see here where we have our break in our water line. And what's happening is when we call for water through the dispenser or when the ice maker cycles, the water is coming right out of this water line and going onto the floor. So this is actually our water line that supplies from the inlet valve to the water filter. Stop. Before beginning any repair, always be sure to disconnect the power to the appliance. It is also recommended to test the outlet for proper voltage. Remember to also turn off the water. The tool you will need for this repair is a Phillips screwdriver. All right, to begin this repair, we're gonna to need to remove the compressor compartment cover and there's gonna be some Phillips screws around the edge to remove. Next, we're gonna remove these two water line clamps here to give ourselves some more room to be able to get our cover out of the way here. We're just going to move this out of the way. All right, next we'll remove uh, one Phillips screw here to remove our inlet valve from the cabinet. Now we have a little more room to work with this. We'll kind of pull it out here. So here's our water line that connects here at the inlet valve. And we need to release or remove this uh, little C-clip that they have on this quick connect fitting and then we're gonna push in on the quick connect sleeve here while we pull out on the water line. And we're gonna take off the little protector here on the water line and save that for the new one. And now from where this was broken, we can just get rid of this bottom half of the old water line. All right, so we're gonna take our new water line and we're gonna feed it in through our compressor compartment cover here and then we can reinstall our protective sleeve. And then we'll go ahead and install the water line back into the inlet valve. We're just gonna push it in as far as it'll go. It has a couple of black uh, lines on the water tube here to show you how far it should be inserted. But you just wanna push it in all the way and pull back out on it so it doesn't come to check and see if it's not falling back out on you. Then we're gonna take the little C-clip and reinstall it between the sleeve and the inlet valve there. All right, we're gonna reattach our water inlet valve back onto the refrigerator. All right, now we can get our compressor cover back in place. And the water line, actually before it was routed out through the hole here, but it should properly be placed through here and there's a little groove on the compressor cover that it's gonna go up and out of. So we're gonna leave it inside of here like that. We'll get our cover in place. There's two tabs on the bottom of the cover to get onto the bottom of the cabinet here. and then you can see our water line is actually gonna come up this channel or groove on this cover here. All right, now we can go ahead and reinstall our number two Phillips screws.
All right, now that we got the cover installed, we'll go ahead and reinstall our two water line clamps. All right, so we're gonna remove the upper half of the old water line here. We're just gonna uh, remove the two clamps, the two water line clamps on the back here. Two Phillips screws. All right, we're gonna have to get inside to remove the water filter housing to pull this water line through. We're gonna to need to disconnect the other water line here that goes to it, so we'll have slack to pull it through. So we're just gonna push in on our quick connect fitting here and pull the water line out, and now we'll be able to get inside to that filter housing and slide it out. All right, we've got our filter housing here. There's one screw, one Phillips screw to remove. And now we can slide this forward and pull the old water line through. All right, we're just gonna push the new water line through the back of the refrigerator to the inside there. Now we need to remove the old water line from the filter housing. There's gonna be another C-clip that we need to remove. And then we're gonna push in on the quick connect sleeve while we pull out on the water line. And we can throw away the old water line. All right, we're gonna take the filter housing and connect the new water line to it. And we also gotta fish the blue water line from the housing back through the hole there. So we're gonna take this and press it into our quick connect fitting. All right, we're gonna make sure it's in there all the way and then we can reinstall our clip. All right, we can go ahead and uh, slide the filter housing back into place. We have this uh, knob here that the, the slot is gonna slide into on the ceiling. And then we'll reinstall our Phillips screw in the front. All right, now we'll go to the back of the unit to finish up. All right, now we can go ahead and reattach our water line to our quick connect fitting here. Let's push in, pull out, make sure it's locked in place. And now we can reinstall the two clamps. That's gonna complete your repair. The only thing left to do is turn water and power back on and run the dispenser and ice maker and check for any water leaks. Thank you for watching another quality video brought to you by appliancevideo.com.